It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Hey, how about you? It's the Fart Museum. <laughs> we want our money back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. Not the Fart Museum. That was a request. The Fart Museum? <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> oh, well, look who's joining us. <laughs> oh, part-time. Well, well, well. Take a day off to enjoy a festival of music with my brothers. August 10th, 2021. Somebody shut him up. It's the Bob and Tom Show. We replaced you rather easily yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, no problem. We just, uh, yeah. Went through my it, things, did that's you? That's all it took. Hello, Christy. Hi, Chick. Hello, Pat. Hi, Chick. Hey, Josh, was it? <laughs> that's right. That's Hi, right. Chick. Hello, Ace. Hey. Hello, Willie. Come on, Chick. Oh, Willie in the short sleeve button up casual summer shirt. You like this? I like that very much. Thought I'd get a little bit tropical. Oh, very real new, huh? Is that brand new? Looks like it's got the mark marks from the box on it. Brand new. Oh, All right. right. I don't want to wear new clothes. Shirt. It's my favorite thing going in, buying a shirt, and putting it on in the oh, car. No, I love no, it. no, no. It's, it. it's got poison from the factory. Are they have flamingos? Or are they? It's got tiny little flamingos ah, on there. Ah, yeah. Yeah, very <laughs> tropical. And there's a tropical storm going on yeah, today. Check local now. listings. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, look, that is actually a very, very handsome shirt. I like that very much. Uh, let's see now. Uh, we have a lot to get to today, that's for sure. Oh, my God. Oh, I, uh, we have uh, some great requests. Oh, cool. A qu- request for some Greg Warren. That'll be fun. Is oh, that right? No <laughs> way. No yeah, well, kidding. I, I, it's obvious they, you know, they heard about Greg's you know, trip here for the audition. I mean, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, uh, oh, 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 what was that last part? No, nothing. I nothing, heard Greg's nothing. trip here, and then there was something you kind of I mumbled. I think he's going yeah. to see New Edition yeah. is what he said. I, I, yeah, I thought it was. You know, you can <laughs> depend on Greg, <laughs> can't you? you sure. Can, he's a rock. Was it too much that he wore a t-shirt? shirt that said DoorDash sidekick chair. I, I mean, <laughs> Wait a minute. He obviously had it, he had, it, okay. he had it custom made. That's dedication. Yes. That's method acting. Right yeah, yeah, he's, he's a terrific he's, guy. Uh, handsome yeah, guy, man. too. Handsome yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, did you know that he was a state champion wrestler? Allegedly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Two-time. Yeah. No kidding. Two-time. Two-time. You don't mention it unless you've won it at least twice. Okay. I've and seen a the, picture of him in his little get-up, but yeah. I don't know if it was real. I believe it's called a onesie. Ringlet. Please do the That's a onesie. What's it called? A singlet. Oh, singlet. A, oh, sorry. a, a ringlet's what Shirley Temple wore in her hair was a ringlet. Yeah. Singlet. A onesie is what a baby wears. Uh, once again, the uh, the DoorDash sidekick chair. Hello. Currently uh, um, for sale. What's the word we're looking for? Uh, for sale. In, in flux, at least. There, there you go. There, there, there in you transition. Go. How was your day off, Josh? <laughs> Thank you for asking, Christy. Terrific. Good. Yeah. What did you guys do? Did you go fishing again? No. Sunday night, we went to uh, a concert, and uh, boy, did we... We had a time. It was a, a fine time. <laughs> All the four Arnold brothers? No, my youngest, uh, Joe Joey Wednesday, could not make, make it. But oh. um, Jeffy and Johnny... Boy, Three out of four ain't bad. Oh, no, that's yeah. This is a musical he, celebration of something. Oh yes, uh, Joey couldn't get his uh, to any time off work. I guess he was a little bit too much, <laughs> a little bit too dedicated to his yeah, job. Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's a professional. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. What that's he does it. is fairly important. Admirable. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Is showing up it's five Trump. day a week, Joey. They well, call what he does. Uh, Joey wins. Yeah, oh man, Paul Cawthon. We saw Whitey Morgan in the seventy eights, and uh, just Whitey, uh, Whitey Morgan, huh? Oh yeah, hmm. yeah. Hmm. Okay, it was fun work. yelling Whitey every now and again. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. What genre of music are we talking? Outlaw country, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hill Jack Incorporated. You remember Paul Cawthon? My brothers and I are huge fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he, his 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 big hit is. Uh, Cocaine country dancing, and, uh, <laughs> dude, that song fires that's you up. Oh yeah, yeah. we, we, boy, we had some fun. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that tune, but it's oh, like yeah, yeah. I think, we played it one morning. I think uh, Dean's feverishly. I, I get the for feeling it. that tickets might have been uh, still on sale as you entered the venue. Is <laughs> well, the thing is, uh-huh. we showed up. Yeah. Uh, at like 3 p.m. to see other bands, and they uh, they said, "Hey, look, it's uh, we have lightning in the area. You can't come in here." Because it was an out, it was all outdoors, right? Hmm. And uh, so you know, we went to a, a bar, and then we went back, and uh, the weather had scared so many people away. There were maybe five hundred people in this gigantic space. 
Uh, and we, so we got to see all these people that we love right up close. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it was great. Okay, I found this um, um, cocaine cowboy. This is Paul Cawthon. And this is, uh, I apologize, cocaine country dancing, please. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay, here we go. And you better be here for playing this because Josh gets juiced he up. Gets up oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You're going really... to see me move. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to see you move? Oh, of course. I mean, if you play this, I can't help it. Oh, okay. Well, well here we go. Um, it's Will you the... play it? I just want to exp- I want to tell our neighbors yeah, that's I not know. thunder. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's not Groover. Oh. Come on, let's get it going. Only you can keep me rolling. Woo. Keyboard. Yeah. Wow. Well, it, it's like it's like uh, it's like Waylon Jennings. Disco meets the disco yes. era. Yeah, that uh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's this terrific. is this is the sort of dance and then the dance and country style. Here you we go. Hold on, oh, oh, oh. twist for your baby. Hit a rip for your baby. Take another shot. Get lit for your baby. Ooh, hey. Ooh, hey. You certainly oh, yeah. know this song well. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? That many a dock dance has been done to this song. So you have dark metal and this on your. Oh, head. I'm all over the place, baby. That's right. Okay. okay well. Josh, if there was a movie <laughs> where you find out that you, you turn into this love interest 30 minutes into, <laughs> this is the song that's playing. There's a pool table. You're dancing. You're throwing pool. Oh, we went nuts. Wall. Long yeah. neck long neck beers. Yes. Oh, yeah. You got one of those flip-up sunglasses. You see her across the pool. You flip them up. Real, real slow. It's like, oh, my uh, oh, yeah. God. Can't love believe my eyes. Smacks Who's you right guy? in the face. That's I, Josh I Arnold. I love He's those flip-up sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't see those anymore. <laughs> they're, they're rare. <laughs> um, I actually found a pair um, of the flip-up uh, readers. Yeah. Yeah, which I don't need anymore, but I used to need those things. And you, they were they were like, you just pop them down in your regular, oh, it's the best. <laughs> but Chick raises a good point. That would be a great look. I'm sorry, back to the cocaine country dancing uh, with uh, Mr. Paul. Did he do this tune for you? Oh, he sure did. Did you go nuts? <laughs> we, uh, we, we were going crazy. Yeah. This is big and we were like right at the stage. We were, there was maybe... <laughs> oh. Five, four, like four people in front of us, and then it was us at the stage. And you were dancing. Oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? Did, did Paul look down at you and kind of give you a, like a nut, cool, cool? He was nut. wearing sunglasses. Uh, so, but of I, I yeah, I'd like to think that he saw the Arnold Brothers. And, sure. Oh, gosh, check. He was wearing sunglasses. How cool is that? Oh, you know it is. He's Classic cool. Cool. Yeah, okay, Mr. that defines cool. cool. Here we cool go. Cool concert. Cool. 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 Do we have any more? <laughs> Candy piano. Yes. Oh, this is, this is, I, I'm sure it's so visual. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. That, that is very so fun. Very, great very, very way nice. to start a show. I feel oh, great. Yes. That's Get a great song. Well, he feed. sounds like Waylon Jennings, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got some cash, some Waylon, a little Elvis. Uh, yeah. And then he, yeah, uh, these funky grooves. And, okay, was the rest of the show good as well? Oh, yes. Yeah, everybody was terrific. Yeah, Morgan Wade and uh, Flatland Cavalry. And oh, boy, we had a. Of course, <laughs> Whitey, Whitey no, don't no, forget that, Whitey. That's, yeah. as, as opposed to the Flat Earth. Cavalry, they ah. <laughs> great show, but they yeah yeah tend to fall off the edge of the stage. Chick knows more about music than anyone I know. Have you ever heard of any of these bands? No. Okay. Yeah, but the I, first I don't know thing, how they, there's so much great music. Me. I don't either. But there's so much good music. They're very close to my uh, close to my sweet spot. But I everyone's heard. Heard. that's great. I'm gonna have to go get that record. Paul Coffin. Yeah, and it, uh, all of it's great. Yeah. And okay. uh, then he goes, uh, "We have a new song, and uh, you know how sometimes at concerts you're like, oh, uh, oh, well. yeah, time for a beer." So this one's called Champagne in a Limo. When we went, oh, of course it is. And we just lost our oh. minds, and it was amazing. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! Yeah. It seems like this is our new song, and it's about rescuing dogs. And like, oh, it's gonna be sad. Champagne in a limo. Let's right go to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good point. Mm-hmm. There are too many songs. Like this next song, we'd like to bathe in sorrow. Uh, <laughs> it's about uh, the death of Joe, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> have Look, some, have I, some fun. I it's love a song about Diana a, too. forgetting my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Move forward here. I think we're about to uh, unveil our surprise. But uh, there we go. There we go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Declan. Joining us from the United <laughs> Kingdom. Declan. It's our favorite Englishman. It's Declan Evans. Mm, uh, this is okay. Good morning Aww. slash good afternoon, Declan. How are you, sir? Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Surprise is getting a bit old now, I bet, isn't it? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. I, I, we saw you, I just saw you sip from your Bob and Tom Turvis. Oh, yes. 
they shop at bobandtom.com. So. That's right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I didn't even know we had those. What, oh, they're what is the that best. Th- what is that thing? It's a Tervis mug. You don't have those at home? Keeps no. things cool. Uh, keeps things, things hot. hot. I have oh. no idea. How, how does it know? Keeps them hot, keeps them cold. How does it uh, But know? Declan Evans is our, uh, is our official uh, correspondent from the UK. You guys did okay in the Olympics, Declan? Yeah, we did okay. Fourth. So, yeah. yeah so, we started off terribly. Finished okay. Sort of story of my life, to be honest. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now, um, when do you... St- you're going to be teaching school this year. When do you start? Oh, God. About two, three weeks. I'm, I'm really not prepared for it. So... <laughs> <laughs> And how, uh, what, what grade are you going to be teaching again? What year, how old are the kids going to be? Uh, I'll, be I'll be sort of teaching anywhere from sort of about 11 years old to about 18. So, oh. anybody, well, let me tell really. you something. If you need somebody to come and lecture your class on being an American, <laughs> I would be love, I would love, I'd be honored to come <laughs> being an and, and eventually be have to ask. To, to leave because uh, I've been there too long. I would love this. What is your Send sub- me to what, England, what subject are you going to be teaching, Declan? Well, I'll be trying to teach biology. If, if it goes well, then that'll be good. If, if it doesn't, then I, I teach something completely different. Okay. Do you know anything about biology? <laughs> I'd like to think so, but those who can't learn teach, so. I see. Have you, have you uh, seen the textbook that you're going to be using yet? Well, yeah, yeah, I've, I've done my best at reasoning it through. Uh, <laughs> Declan, so, would you agree with me? Uh, are things over there like they are here where teachers are grossly overpaid? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd stop that, Josh. <laughs> grossly underpaid, both of them. Yeah, yeah of course. Underpaid. Oh, oh. Isn't well, the English, I, I just disagree with you. Isn't I, the English biology book just uh, titled Nudge, Nudge, Wink, Wink? <laughs> <laughs> say no more, say no more, right? A hey? couple of points Does she hello. go? Is she a goer? Yeah, what well, are, she sorry. is from Bolton. That's right. Oh, <laughs> oh say no more. Now, uh, Declan, we were reviewing some uh, older terms for uh, uh, sexual activity. Oh, this now, is biology. Yeah, yeah uh, this this might be good for you. Um, have you ever ter- heard the term, uh, hey, those two were engaged in amorous Congress? Sorry, it's actually... Uh, no, am- I've never heard that, no. That, what that about sounds- amorous Parliament for you there? <laughs> <laughs> you got to put in these terms. Parliament, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, according to the 1811 Dictionary of the Vulgar Tongue... Sure, sure. The phrase, uh, I'll just give you an example. Rumor has it, he found her bread and butter fashion with the neighbor... <laughs> And do you have any idea what that means? No, no, not 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 a clue. But it just sounds like some Cockney rhyming slang, to be honest. So. <laughs> yeah, it does. That would mean that um, one was on top of the other. So they're 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 oh, bread and butter oh. fashion. The, the the butter goes on the bread. Well, yeah. speaking of bread and butter, Declan sent all of us these these sweet treats oh, what? Right from the UK, and these have really kind of fun names. So these are jelly babies, similar <laughs> jelly to like babies. A, yeah. So this, this is uh, these are. Digestives. Oh sure, which yeah. Sounds like a, like, like a, a Pepto Bismol. Wait a minute, what's a digestive? Slow down. It's just like a, a kind of a tasty cookie. It's like a wafer with milk chocolate around it. I think. Oh. Oh. Uh, is then, that is that? Hang on. Is that uh, supposed Josh, to have medicinal? T- uh, tasty biscuit. Josh. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I don't know if it has any medicinal. De- Declan, are the are the McVT's digestives? Are these medicinal at all? <laughs> no, no, they're not. I, I wondered that too when I lived. Why the, would they call them that? I've always, I loved them. We ate them all the time when I. I mean, you, uh, you wouldn't call a candy bar. Hey, have you got the new bowels move? <laughs> <laughs> this one's my favorite there name of go. the bunch. These are Jammy Dodgers. <laughs> jammy Dodgers. That's I wrong. like that a lot. Okay, wait, Jam some down. of those You're down going way too fast. Face. What's a Jammy Dodger? It looks like some sort of butter cookie with uh, like a raspberry jelly in there. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's exactly what it is. But obviously, we say jam here because that's the right thing to say. <laughs> sure, sure. Right, right. Everything you know the difference between a jammy dodger and a jelly dodger? <laughs> oh, careful. Easy. You can't, can't, you can't jelly it. Oh, no. Hey, Cookie hey, up hey. your... Okay. Now, which of these is your favorite, Declan? It's, pro- it's probably quite close, but probably the jammy dodgers are probably my favorite, to be honest. All right. Um, and, and again, run it by me. What is in a jammy dodger? It's, it's basically, it's uh, it's two two biscuits with a, with a bit of jam in them, so yeah. called jelly. And a cookie. Okay. Well, and no, what's that, one? What's that, what's that one? language. So this one is also from the fine people at McVitie's, and this is a Jaffa cake. I think I've heard of Jaffa cakes before. It looks like, is it some sort of citrus thing there, Declan? Yeah, so yeah, so it's like, base. well, it's not really a biscuit, but it's not really a cake. No one's quite sure what it is. <laughs> sort of a mix between the two, so it's a, it's a sort of a cake. 
and an orange and chocolate and everything. Why don't you open it up and have a bite, Jaffa, Willie? Jaffa cake sounds like somebody who would be featured on a Nicki Minaj song. Nicki Minaj feet Jaffa cake. No, and correct me if I'm wrong. Is that Jaffa cake on keyboard? <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> oh, goodness. So this is uh, one of the jammy Dodgers. This looks lovely. I can't tell if it's plastic or part of the jam there. I'm going to take a bite. Oh, that's always a good uh, sign of a <laughs> plastic or jam. nice snack. Is it, is oh, that is good. <laughs> is it good? It's, it's very like good. Plastic. All right. Really? Mm-hmm. Can I throw these around to anybody? Uh, well, okay. we'll try them on the break, yeah. Uh, Peel them might be plastic <laughs> off of them first. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have had it with that. I couldn't well, that's, a, that's a ringing endorsement. This looks... <laughs> I want to, the the big news is that uh, we we spoke with Declan Evans, our uh, uh, English uh, uh, football correspondent, yes. <laughs> and he sent us a, a football jersey, if you will, uh, a soccer jersey uh, from game worn from his uh, favorite team, the Lincolnshire Imps. Was that what they're called? Lin Imps. Lincoln City, I believe, right? Uh, Lincoln, Lincoln City. Lincoln City. Yeah, you think it's a shire because well, it's England, don't you? Shire. <laughs> a lot of shires over there. Uh, and uh, but it's a it's a game uh, worn Ew. signed jersey for yeah. the guys. It's a very it smells. Bad. Is it musky? Oh, it doesn't smell bad at all. You look good in that, Christy. Thanks. I think I need a little football jersey. Does it smell like man pits? Yeah, it does. It smells like pheromones. Oh yeah, <laughs> man pits smells <laughs> like these. <laughs> so we lost well, the dinosaurs. Uh, Those uh, football uh, players over there are the size. Of twelve-year-olds, okay? I don't know who's wearing their jersey. Well, no body fat. Uh, yeah. Hey, you want to get tough with me? He's five seven. Yeah, come on. No, I like a rock star or star size anyway. That yeah, that's right. You're a petite person. You like a yeah. guy that is uh, I've known to... equally equally proportioned. Yeah. Have you ever dated anyone your size? What do you mean? We were just talking. That's what we we're just saying. No, no, I mean like really Will your you size. you please, I'm paying dear attention. Dear God, Listen pay to attention. yourself. I mean, please. I mean, you know, four eleven. <laughs> no. 4'11"? I'm, I'm taller than that. You are? 4'11 yes. and a half? No, I'm 5 feet something. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. all right. Just ask. You ever see or date a guy that's just 5 foot? No. The shortest was probably 5'6". Five, You're 5 foot soaking wet. <laughs> oh, wait. That only works for... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's, a, that's a weight thing, really. Oh. Yeah. Hello? No. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, hey, it's Greg Warren, guys. How you doing? Oh, good. I, I'm glad you called. I have to go to the bathroom. So, hey, Greg, uh, you have Greg. got to be crapping me negative. Um, Greg, it's uh, great talking to you again. Um, oh, geez. Now, uh, I know we got something special coming up, kind of a secret. Haven't announced it yet, but looking forward to that. Uh, I know you've been on the yeah, road a lot. Man, I really, really uh, enjoyed being in there yesterday. And, uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, what? You know, I... Hey, uh, I wanted to tell you guys about the good folks over at DoorDash. We are doing some amazing things. And, and, uh, the hell's this? Man, I just had DoorDash delivered last night, and I yeah. got to tell you, these guys, they knock it out of the park every oh, time. Yeah, of course they do, but yeah. Greg, you have no business talking about them. <laughs> Well, because you see that the chair over there is the the, the, uh, the, the uh, currently jo uh, occupied by Josh Arnold, the DoorDash sidekick chair. That's right. What is this currently occupied? Greg, you were you sitting in here yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe after we got off the air, we tried it out. We had a meeting. Tom, test Tom show. called and said, that, you know, he wanted me to just come in to just throw a few things around, try a couple oh. of things. I guess they got some plans. or We haven't really formalized anything, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I, what I told them is you know, I'm not a guy that's going to get up and go to a rock and roll concert every couple of days. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> we need somebody in here who's going to be a little bit more proactive as far as our show goes. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, hey, well. You know, it's, it's number one priority to me. And again, the good folks over at DoorDash really appreciate your business. Oh, and man, I, 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 I had some Indian food delivered last uh -huh. night. And uh -huh. You know what? Right on time, very friendly. So and DoorDash delivers you know, whatever you want. Though. You know, uh, Greg Warren, uh, if, uh, Anything you want, yeah, if you yeah. taking my position on the show gets you off the road, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Now that seems mean. Keeps the United States free from Greg. Yeah. Warren. Now, Greg, if, if someone wanted to get a, a sample of your work, uh, you have um, 
your special uh, corn-based uh, special <laughs> out there. It's called Where the Field Corn Grows. Yeah, I guess that's one way. You Please, dear God, watch it. this thing so he won't make any more specials. Please, can't we just... <laughs> Warren, have you seen the latest from the Greg Warren camp? Oh, no, what is there's, that? There's more from the Where the, where oh, the Field I got Corn Grows. So, somehow, you know what? Greg's one of those guys. I, I never signed up to be on his email list. I never, I never wanted, but he just put me on his email list because he had my email address. No, whatever no, to, no, I think, to fudge Josh, the traffic Josh. numbers. So... Uh, he, I get an, I wake up to a gross email from him today what is that? saying, hey, uh, Missouri, I'm going to be doing uh, jokes and stuff on the road. You know what the name of his new tour is? Oh, what? No, I can't imagine. What, what is this, Greg? The Creamy versus Crunchy Tour? <laughs> not cr not versus, Josh. Not everything's a contest. It's Creamy and Crunchy Tour. Yeah. <laughs> the Creamy and Crunchy Tour. Are yeah. we talking about peanut butter? Yeah. So the last special was all about corn. This one's all about pe peanut butter, apparently. Uh, well, it's, uh, some, uh, you know, I did sell peanut butter for a long time, guys. Yes, I sold you did. Jeff, yeah, which is yes, a, you did. It's a, uh, you know, the, we don't own that anymore, though, Procter & Gamble. They, they sold that product. You know who they sold it to? Who? Smuckers, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Well, they know. Get yeah. it? Get it? These guys own peanut butter... <laughs> And jelly. Wow, yeah. that's that's, that's, wow. that's yeah. business they school ever, year one. They teach you you want if you if you own the peanut butter, you got to own the jelly. Bread's yeah, next. If they ever get a hold of bread, Tom, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, it's sure. going to be over. I, 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 I don't that. think the government will allow that. That's I don't think so either. German antitrust, right? They're, they're exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Well, I wanted to we recommend. Uh, Greg, I wanted yeah. to recommend Greg's special, uh, where the field corn grows. Some excellent, excellent comedy. Yeah. Um, and, if it's uh, as good as that PB and J hunk we just got. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that very much, Greg. I, you are. A I will. I will hey, go guys, on record as we like to do on the show. Uh, check out that Greg Warren podcast. It's, uh, it's, uh, what is this now? <laughs> <laughs> now Greg, do you? Uh, I, I I have never been able to eat crunchy peanut butter. I've never been yeah. able to eat it. Why are you <laughs> not, not that able? I don't like it. Will it crack well, a tooth? Tom, Tom, you're not in the minority. Four to one, uh, creamy versus crunchy, actually. Yeah, it's I, sales. I, I, yeah, I four to one. I do not like yeah, so, yeah. crunchy peanut butter. I don't either. I'm just... Greg, yeah, I always felt a little uh, guilty about it because we charge the same for crunchy as we did for creamy, which if you think about it, um, you know, we didn't finish making it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, ripping, you're ripping people off. You know? Yeah, yeah, it should be labor re reflective, the cost. You know? Sure. The, 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 the crunchy guys were knocking off about noon where the creamy guys are still mashing up peanuts. At yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey, now, I have a question for you. Now, when you worked for the company uh, that, that made GIF yeah. uh, in the computer division, do they call it a GIF or a GIF? Do we know? Oh, it's with a J. Boy, that's, so the I, joke... I mean, when I was there, Tom, I don't think gifts were around. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> oh, you, was that long ago? It's really, it's a really good question. How long um, you been doing comedy? <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you have a GIF gift? First, first time doing jokes. <laughs> oh man, that's one of my that's favorite memories. Chick, yep. That's how Chick brought me on stage one night at the Bob and Tom tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I said, ladies and gentlemen, this next comedian, he's from Belarus. He hasn't been around, but this is his first night on stage. Please welcome Greg. I say, I say Greg Warren. People, yeah, Greg. He comes out and he goes, okay, first joke. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts uh, and he, and he, he says something and he goes, ah, uh, I, I, man, I mess up. And some guy in the back goes, it's okay, babe. It's your first time. <laughs> An amazing night. Oh, that's I'll awesome. Always, so I'll always remember. <laughs> so supportive. Oh, yes. They're now, doing uh, Greg, you're on the road. Before we let you go, can, can you give me a couple plugs? Where are you going to be? Yeah, you haven't got enough uh, plugs in, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be in, in Lexington, Kentucky uh, in September. Oh, nice. Uh, as well as Evansville. Um, uh, and uh, I don't remember all the other places. Well, uh, and I'm doing it, Tom. I'm doing some with you in Indy, right? Yeah, maybe it's a secret. <laughs> oh, way to go, anymore. Warren! I'm not doing anything with Tom and Indy. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and I'm, I'm looking forward to the. Uh, I want to hear the whole hunk, the whole peanut butter crunch hunk. <laughs> what, 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 Sounds what, good. What, yeah, it's something else. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> I think it's important to tackle the big issues, and I think that's that's the. It thing. is, man. You you notice I do that in my comedy. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm okay with that right now. No, of course. I want to yeah, hear more about. Sure. Well, yeah. 
I yeah, like a good corn I can't chowder. wait to get on the show next time and talk a little bit. I've been watching a lot of these horror movies, and uh, that's and, my uh, thing. Porn <laughs> and porn. Uh, <laughs> Greg, 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 I love that story you told me about your brother Johnny Tuesdays. That was a great oh, story. Wow. He seems like a blast. <laughs> hey, Greg, should I name my uh, my first comedy special "Where the Field Porn Grows"? <laughs> <laughs> I think I may have. In his pants. By the way, Greg and I, uh, we have a, a little bet going. He's going to be in Lexington in September. I was just there. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, I'm going to be in Louisville at the end of this month, and he was just there. And uh, we have a bet going that I'm going to sell more tickets in Louisville than he did, and he has he thinks he's going to sell more tickets in Lexington than I did. And we... Uh, am I, last get, am time? I getting odds on this deal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So last time okay, when he yeah. was at Off Broadway, and I'm sorry, when he was at the Caravan and you were at Comedy Off Broadway, who sold more tickets last time? Do we know? Yes, we do. Who who sold? Can you Josh. tell us? Josh. Josh. Uh, I mean, Lexington, Lexington is a much bigger town. <laughs> <laughs> your excuses are your own, Warren. Well, I think it may be because when we asked Josh where he was going, he knew. <laughs> so it's, that's the key that's to plugging the show. Point, he knew he was going to be. Why you, that's why you run the show, Tom. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Greg, thank you very much. Uh, uh, thanks for coming in yesterday. I appreciate your driving all that way. Oh, oh, I this enjoyed is it, man. Enjoy the heck out of it. And looking forward to more. <laughs> yeah. We look forward to seeing you, Greg. Yeah, I'll, like, just count on pretty much every Monday, it looks like. <laughs> oh. Probably most Fridays. <laughs> the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee is here at the Navy Federal Credit Union News, news Desk. Hi. Pat Godwin in the Oxford Gold Performance Room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. At the DoorDash Sidekick Chair. Yes, sir. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Go Raiders. <laughs> There's Willie. Go Colts. Willie Griswold. Uh, Jessica Alsman has joined us. She's in the uh, correspondence room over there. Hello. And ladies and gentlemen, some... Words I've had, I've I've spoken these words in a nightmare. I'm sure. <laughs> From Tom's desk, it's Greg Hahn. <laughs> I love to never go on a brewery tour. I can't say brewery. <laughs> I never like to go on the brewery tour. You ever been on one of those? A brewery. Oh, it goes from this vat to that vat. Here's the pipes. Look at this. It goes to this vat. By the way, you ever done that? I have been on a tour. Yes. It's yeah. horrible, right? Uh, There's nothing brewery? worse in your life. <laughs> it's better to sit just keep sipping the samples. Have like a thousand samples. <laughs> then buy an Uber for four hours to get home. <laughs> Who's with me on this? I'm with you, Greg. I'm with you, 100%. Yeah. You can't say brewery, huh? No, I don't brewery. like a brewery That's tour. <laughs> I can't say Saturday Night Live either. You just said it. No, we did Saturday Night Live. You can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> Josh, I don't know if you noticed Ace changed the levels. Greg's voice is a little louder than my dad's. And it didn't go down. Ace, you might have to change the levels on me and Christy's mic, too. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah, sure we're picking might Greg be getting picked up. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hahn, Greg Hahn will be uh, this Friday and Saturday in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania at Keller's Comedy and Magic. Where's that going to be? Uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Now I get it. Yeah, you get funny. it before? It's funny. Christy, what's up over there? What do you got? What do you, what, what do you say? What do you hear, huh? Authorities in Attica, New York are warning residents. Attica! 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 Tell me. Well, are warning residents to be on the lookout for an escaped monitor lizard. Oh, boy. Chief Dean Hendershot of the Attica Police said a man was moving out of his apartment when his four-and-a-half-foot-long Nile monitor lizard escaped from its cage. The, the Daily News Online reports there were several failed attempts to capture the lizard as it climbed up an over a 100-foot tree. Huh. Yeah. Since the reptile's escape on July 29th, the residents have reported seeing the lizard throughout town. He was at the mall. No, sure, the library, yeah. Sure. Having a drink at Applebee's. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the monitor lizard in the lizard community, do you think he's just a snitch? Or Absolutely. Yeah, he's like was, the hall monitor. Yeah, yeah. hall monitor. Yeah. And I saw that other lizard over there. <laughs> Residents have been warned not to approach the lizard. He will bite. Sure, sure. And that it does secrete a venom, though the venom is not fatal to humans. I bet it's going to hurt. Secrete is a gross word. Truly, mm. it's, it's... You don't a, like secrete? No, it's like moist to me. It just comes off the tongue wrong. Sec many secretions can be moist. Yeah, exactly. Get out of here with that. I can't take that. Secretions be moist. How about yeah. sacrete? How do you feel about that? The what cement mix. Sacrete? <laughs> no, that's not me either. That doesn't, don't oh, you don't care for that either? I, not yeah, a fan. I don't like that either, huh? There yeah, are people that can secrete sacrete oh. in their moist oh. panties. What? Oh, gosh. Gosh. I just nailed all of them. Right? Right? So bad. You like panties? Thank you. Mm. Uh, Any words bother you, uh, Tom? <laughs> no, I like it. 
like moist. You yeah, like, you like moist. Sure, that's Mo- a good word. Moist cake. I right? like uh, I like the name Marty Tenderloin. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? That's a great name. I hope. It's a damn fine name, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Hey, Christy. Very astute. Marty, Marty Tenderloin. You know, uh, I liked uh, the name, the other name, but Barn Fartson. It was good. Him. Yeah. Ted Scampy. Ted Scampy. <laughs> what did? Were you Turd Burglar? Wasn't that? No. I forget that name. Turd I, Ferguson. Will you? No? Have you ever Something introduced like yourself to a woman as Ted Scampy? <laughs> Self no, I will. And follow that. Yeah, up with yes, it. I invented sh- shrimp being <laughs> cooked oh, yeah. in, in garlic and Did butter. I ever tell you guys I had an alias when I would go to in college when I would go to parties? No, no. you didn't. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I would uh, introduce myself as uh, Jake Youngblood. That was That's the- funny. <laughs> That's just funny. And I'm not making it up. Recently, I've been getting, uh, there's a listener named Jake Youngblood, and every time he will, he'll, he'll send me a nice comment or something, I laugh out loud because that was what I would do. Yeah, I'm Jake Youngblood. And a sorority wanted to fight Jake Youngblood one night. Oh. So bad. Why? What did Jake do? He was a, he, Jake would get, would get, Josh would get drunk. Yes. Too drunk, and then Jake Youngblood would appear. Uh, <laughs> so, do you what? know anything about Sir Dude, the party night? This is another uh, yeah. alter ego. Josh does. If I, uh, back in the day, Greg, I could polish off a 12-pack. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. You know, start at 5 p.m. and uh, finish whenever. By and, uh, quarter to seven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all the beard be gone. And anytime I did finish off, I, but the rule was I had to drink all 12 myself. Yeah. And uh, wow. then Sir Dude, the party night would appear where I would take the empty 12-pack box, jam it over my head, and I would look through the, the handle, the cardboard handle, like a knight in one of those silly helmets. That's the best. So, yeah, That's yeah. The funniest. Yeah. I did the same thing, except I'd turn into Irv Glitz. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Nighttime accountant. <laughs> Nighttime accountant. Anybody need any accounting done? Any taxes looked after? See Irv Glitz. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jake Youngblood, huh? Yep, he was... Uh, did he, he was, have a line? Did he woo were you, the ladies? Uh, sarcastic? With? What was Anytime you? I was asked what uh, fraternity I was in, it was the uh, oh, the apple pies, <laughs> which is just so lame. So that would always give Jake away. <laughs> But I forget what Jake said to a couple sorority members, and all of a sudden, I realized, uh, as these girls were screaming at me, <laughs> that the rest of their sorority sisters were were forming a circle around me. Oh. And uh, I didn't know that they were getting ready to attack. Like they, a like, ritual sacrifice. Like they were getting ready to, uh, oh yeah. What were they going to do to you? I think, uh, you know, beat me up. or You uh, fought like a whole sorority? No, I didn't have to. My bu- my buddies realized what was happening, and they came, and they grabbed Jake out of the circle. And, uh, what, are like sorority God. girls like Who dolphins? Cares? They circle the I, Oh, dude, they, they were no mad. God. I yeah. must have done something Oh, really Jake bad. Mal, he was mouthing off. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you do not want a sorority girl mad at you. I, I was I was dating the sorority girl, and guys weren't allowed on the second floor, but I snuck in, and then the morning after, I, like, went down the stairs thinking I'd get away clean, and then, like, the president of what Chi Omega <laughs> yeah. was giving me the business. Oh, I'm scared. I ran back to my dorm. Couldn't take it. I didn't take the... I didn't like the Greek system. Uh, I, I'm sure it's fine, but I never... I, for, I was just, uh, you know, I didn't like it when I was in college, and so I um, would always break... Like, there was a room... The Pikes? That's a yeah, 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 yeah. There was a room that said Pikes only, mm-hmm. and I would I'd walk in to hey, what's going on in here, guys? They would get so like they legitimately wanted to fight. Jake, well, I tried to fight Jake a whole frat, a whole frat. I took them on. Did you? I tried to fight them all? Yeah, all at once. They're all in the back of a truck, yelling to get the girls to come out of the dorm and get on their truck and drink oh with them and leave. God. Yeah, and I, I thought these are my girls in the dorm. Right, yeah, yeah. And they're running out, just called every name, screaming, yelling yeah. the, as the truck was rolling away. And then I saw the brake lights. You know? oh. Oh, not good, not good. Yeah. Here they come. What happened? Yeah, yeah. And then I just like rattled around on the f- ground for a while, everybody kicking me. Oh, oh man. Wow. I felt good. I leaped right up, you know. Yes. Uh, adrenaline. Sure, well, sure. You know, the only, I uh, had more names for him when I got up. The only, uh, <laughs> the only fake name I've ever used is, uh, is Chick McGee. Oh. <laughs> Have you been in an actual fight? No. Oh. No, I never. I somehow would always weasel my way out of, or my friends would save me. You should have let those girls beat you up. Why I should have, yeah. Why yeah. would you want him to do that? Well, then they, uh, maybe, they girls, would, maybe they would atten- attend to his wounds. Or <laughs> but something. then what if I was turned wow. on and I was like, oh, now, this, uh, now I'm into this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, have right. to, I have to have girls beat me up now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alzi, he said girls can't fight. Oh, we can fight. Uh, Finally. Uh,
We yeah. can nag you to till your well, soul just fighting. wants to die uh. inside. <laughs> <laughs> we can scratch and bite and pull hair. Oh my god! Shame you. you. You've never seen two women fight. That's nasty. Yeah, I know guys it like is that. Hot right? and nasty. Yeah, there are guys who really like. You like, like that, that Josh? Coming no, out? no, I you don't know, like. I get squeamish. I don't like any fighting. You know who does like it? Who? Is Al Jackson. He likes girls wrestling. wrestling. He likes yeah. girls wrestling and fighting. Really? But girls are yeah. so beautiful, though. You know what I mean? Look how pretty. Look look at the lovely ladies here. With the, There's lots to see. Pretty <laughs> hair and eyelashes coming out at you. And jewelry. Yeah. And yeah. Your fingernails are different colors. And <laughs> sure. Like little Christmas trees that talk to you. <laughs> Oh, beat that's you up. A wonderful All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you're listening to is uh, Greg Hahn's uh, psychic evaluation. He that's thinks like women are Christmas trees that can talk to you. Yeah, that was somehow that a, said a lot about you. It Greg. was feminist. It was a feminist argument, but done so in the sweet. most the way. Uh, <laughs> misogynistic way. Yeah. Is that bad? Uh, where do we uh, where do we go after Christmas? They're trees? like Christmas trees that talk to you. <laughs> Beautiful is what I'm so saying. I guess we should ask the ladies how how did you feel? I just colors. I am stunned. I've never ever been talked to that way before. That you look is... just lovely. To well, me. thank you. I know you're smart as a whip. What's the problem? <laughs> you're smart as a Christmas tree, my God. <laughs> so, Greg, if Christy comes in with little uh, Christmas ornaments as earrings, is that good for you? you think? Yeah. 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 Oh, Women are thing. like Christmas. They smell good. You give them a little water every now and again. Yeah. Turn them on. They light up. Well, I think Greg might have to look at some pharmacology in the future. They have skirts. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Throw them away on the 27th. Little candy canes. Oh. They taste good. Yes. Yeah, you get rid of them before the end of the year. If you haven't... Uh, you put presents at the bottom of them and hope that's good. Sure, they get... like the presents and then... Once they're dry, they're out. Oh. At the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Present, sir. Pat Godwin in the Oxford Gold Performance Room. Here. Josh Arnold. Hi. At the DoorDash Sidekick Chair. Are we gonna have a? We have an issue. You're have. You're being contrary today. I'm gonna no, call I'm you. No, I'm not. Out. See what I did? See yeah. what I did <laughs> Ace Cosby. <laughs> Hi, Ace. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Chickster. And our first guest today. It's him and his mustache. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave <laughs> Dyer. Hi, Dave. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dave. Dave. Great um, to see you, Dave. Good to be here. I, I'm here the day after Han, right? Han yes. was yesterday. Yeah. He sat right there. I love it when he's here. I text him every time when he's here. <laughs> and I text him. How'd the show go? First response every time I text him, Dyer, stop texting me. I only text with chicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good on. Yep. Yeah. You sound just like him. Man. <laughs> You do do a great, great. I mean, yeah. we all do a Han. I've all. done a lot, a lot of gigs with him. So you kind of just soak it up. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's go. <laughs> I'm done. Let's go. He was saying yesterday that some of the places he plays, yeah. uh, due to the ending of his act, if you haven't seen it, you need yeah. to. Uh, the, the, sometimes the beer drips on the uh, people from the ceiling on, oh, the, yeah. on the next comedian. Yeah. And I love, I love the fact that most of the time, the people who are working at the theater aren't aware that that's what. What's going to happen for his last? What the heck is? What's he doing? Yeah, what's this? Nobody said anything about a mop. Yeah, I thought that he needed. I thought that he needed beers in the green room because he was going to drink them. Yeah, no. What the hell? Yeah, he's a prop comic for God's sake. Yeah. So. It is fun though when you work with him because he doesn't actually drink, so he has the one beer as the prop, and then I get to drink the other five beers as the opener, which is a lot of fun yeah. for me. Oh, that's nice. Oh, supposed to have come watch the show tonight. <laughs> That's always a big one, too. <laughs> what have you been doing, Dave? We haven't seen you because of the, you know, the world I know. Stuff. You're yeah. growing that damn mustache. I, I know you that. don't like it, do you? Don't You've like always it. expressed your dislike I for this. You, Especially you, now. You it's... could slide right into an old-timers baseball I game. I feel like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I think it looks great. Hey, he's coming yeah, out. Thank you, Josh. I'm Are genuinely you a fan. Oh, yeah. My wife doesn't like it either, Christy. It Are you in a barbershop quartet? What is going on? Oh, light a rose. I am home again. No, my wife hates it, too. And people say all the time, you're going to shave it off? I said, no, I'm not shaving it off. <laughs> and uh, I'm not shaving it off because I ran the numbers. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I counted up the sex before the mustache. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I counted up the sex after the mustache. And? It's a wash. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be affecting anything. Okay. So, mustache day. All right. All right. So. <laughs> well. Didn't you try to uh, get some uh, help with your wife? Didn't you try to explain to the therapist that uh, it seemed like everything bothered her and you didn't know what to do anymore? You were... Well, that's, yeah, that's ongoing. She yeah. uh, Well, one of the things, uh, do you remember what I tried to do for, uh, or she wanted to do for one of our, our anniversaries? 
No. Remember, I told you she wanted to get matching tattoos. Oh, oh yeah. We've been talking right. about tattoos That's this morning. is ridiculous mm-hmm. yeah. because she's deathly afraid of needles. Oh, so oh, instead, yeah. we just decided to weigh the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fair exchange. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little different take on the. Yeah. That's a great show. You have uh, daughters, right? Uh, <laughs> Two daughters. Yes, I do. Um, how, how do they feel about the mustache? Do they think, oh, Dad, what are you doing? You and- know what? Uh, don't care too much about that. They, um, but they, my my youngest one likes it. My oldest one is not is not too into it. My oldest one. <laughs> Moved back home for a little bit. She oh, just okay. moved back out. You know, she'd been gone for a while, and then she moved back out. And boy, they got to go at a certain time. You ever, you know, yep. that? they just. <laughs> do you have any? Do you have come back, and they just they change, and they're just. Um, I thought they were disrespectful in high school. Like in high school, I mean, there were days my daughters would approach me that um, I didn't even like it when they call me dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just implied a level of commitment you're not always up for, you know. Those days they, they, they come up, you just stop. You know, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm Dave today. <laughs> Dave doesn't have twenty dollars. <laughs> Dave doesn't feel like driving you to Maddie's house. <laughs> Any luck, your dad will be back in a couple days. I'm <laughs> fading. Oh, it's so true. I think at one, I think at one point I can't remember the disagreement, but one point about two weeks before my oldest daughter just recently moved out, I just walked away and went, "Gotta go." That's <laughs> me. You gotta go. Let's see what's going on over there. Uh, what is going on over here? Um, a man has pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct charge stemming from an explosive gender reveal party that was heard by nearby residents in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. As part of the deal reached Tuesday, Anthony Spinelli of Kingston, New Hampshire, was you know convicted what? and fined $620. Gonna go on a, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say anything Spinelli wants to do is okay with me. <laughs> I don't want, uh, That's what I, I thought. <laughs> Stay out of the way. Yeah, there's no problems over here, is there? No, I didn't think so. Police yeah. in Kingston, a town not far from the Massachusetts line, received reports in April of a loud explosion. They responded to a quarry where people acknowledged holding a gender reveal party with explosives. What? Well, at least it was in a quarry. That's true. But, wow. Can you imagine a Spinelli gender <laughs> reveal? Hey, it's a broad. <laughs> Oops. Another girl. <laughs> Does anybody here planning on doing a gender reveal? A day of your past uh, yes. a reproduction yep. phase, right? It's gone. Yeah. I guess no. Willie and Chick. I will. Of it, Willie and But I don't know. I'll just do a reveal. Uh, we all know that gender is a man-made construct that uh, oh, really uh, has nothing to do with uh, science or biology. And uh, what... Uh, <laughs> You just made you know, friends one today, of the aren't you? one of the most irritating things about Josh is that he he the preemptive fights he has with you. <laughs> He cuts you off at the knees before you even get out of the car. Yeah. I don't know. Why do you? Never mind. No, but it would be a cake, right? I would go simple. You got to go simple or do like the T-ball. Don't do anything where you're throwing something and going to hit grandma in the face. and then right. Oh, it's a boy. Sorry nothing with wild point. animals. Nothing with explosives or right. fire. Yes. Ace? I thought he had something to contribute to this well, conversation. Well done, Ace. Well, if my name was David, Whoa. and I had a son, I'd name him Harley. Oh, oh That okay. way he'd say, I'm Harley, David's son. That was a oh, Wow, he segued into the thing ah, we were talking it. about. Totally worth it. He, it was right on point. That was seamless. <laughs> I know about- Tom's not here today, but what the hell's going on? <laughs> Who gave him his own music? Yeah. <laughs> He's got it all over there all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, my God. Very nicely done, Ace. Very. I hope yes. you're taking notes. Was it? Yes, it was. <laughs>